The Armed Forces Pension Fund, the biggest shareholder in the company at the center of the literal combat ship controversy, said 6 billion ringgit was spent on a bulk order of equipment to build the ships. LTAT CEO Ahmad Nazim Abdul Rahman said the bulk order meant for six vessels was cheaper compared to buying such equipment individually. Nazim said in a Facebook post yesterday that a huge portion of the 9 billion ringgit contract went to the basic design and detailed design, carried out by the Naval Group, a major player in the French naval sector. He also confirmed that the construction of the vessels was underway at the Lumut shipyard. He said he was directly involved in drafting the LCS project recovery plan with the Defence Ministry and Navy, adding that the ships were being built concurrently. He said some of the money meant for the ships was used to pay off debt incurred by a previous company, which Bausted Holdings and Bausted Naval Shipyard had to cover after taking over the project.